Well, it is the story of Peter Pan, but not as you know it. Peter and the Star Catcher is a prequel to the beloved tale we all love, and it's already proven to be a smash hit on Broadway, taking home a whopping five Tony Awards. That's not bad. Now the show has made its way to Australia and is promising to be a visual and theatrical spectacular with more than 100 characters, live music, giant crocodiles, and if you don't mind, an all-star cast, just like these ones. Pete Hallier, Olivia Diebel and Otis Dungy, welcome to the morning show, guys. Thanks for having us. Hi, team. Look at this star-studded couch. I know. It's a bit obscene, isn't it? Liv we are, we are merely, we're in their shadow. We are in mm. their shadow. <laughs> Olivia, these studios must feel pretty familiar to you. You played Raffi on Home and Away for four years. Is it nice to be back, strange to be back, indifferent? Uh, a little bit of both. I think because I moved back to Melbourne as well, I'm not uh, Sydney-based anymore, so it's kind of all was flooding back and then we were driving through the Channel 7 studio and I did I was like oh oh I'm gonna be I'm gonna be back home and here and obviously you guys you. are very close to the Home and Away studio so I got to see some of the makeup artists and run in and say hello which was really lovely. You were oh. in the fetal position for a little while down there though. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I must say it was true. So but were you Pete though. What was <laughs> Why were you in the fetal I, position? I thought we agreed uh, not I'm, to speak about that. I'm a Home and Away fan for years you know <laughs> I remember ringing at the Good Friday appeal and speaking to the Bobby, uh, <laughs> Nicole Simpson, if you're watching, g'day. Uh, and I pledged five dollars. <laughs> oh, we're off the rails already. <laughs> Pocket money from you, wasn't it? It was. was I, 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 I did a car wash for that you one, know. Kelly. Yeah. Uh, Otis, you're playing Peter Pan before he became actually Peter Pan. That's right. Yeah. So, so tell us about the production. Yeah, well, you know, it's a, it's an amazing play. It's uh, very magical. I think, uh, like you said, there's over 100 characters, you know, so we might all be playing our, our principal characters, but we also get to don, like, a, you know, sailors' uniforms, pirate uniforms, Navy seamen to kind of build this illusion of massive scale and, and grandiosity. And, you know, if that's not enough, there's a kind of amazing litany of, you know, fantastic puppetry that's mm. just total eye candy, I think, for any, for any audience coming to watch. What a sublime answer. No, An amazing cool. litany of I know. just... The... I, I doubt you're dressing up into lots of characters, so I'd pick you a mile oh. off. No, I, oh. I, I, I'm playing Smee, um, and, but like Oda said, we are playing lots of different characters. So I, I read the script and I went, OK, I'm in that scene. I can go <laughs> I can be off stage, I'll check the NBA scores there, <laughs> and then I'll be, uh, three scenes later I'm back on. But we are basically on stage the whole time. We are different characters. We're moving their staircases. There's live, live musicians on stage. We're pushing them around their pianos. You're having it's to crazy. sing for your supper, are you, Pete? It's Hallie? ridiculous. Oh they, they lied. They lied to me. I said I can't. <laughs> I told her I said I can't sing. They said it's okay. You'll be okay. Well, I'm not okay. I'm not okay. I want to check in on that actually, because we know about your endless reserves of talent on the comedy stage and on the screen. But Liv, can, can he sing or can he well, sing? Well, you just have to buy tickets to the show. <laughs> yeah. I mean, honestly, oh, if you'd like to see Peter Hellier yeah. sing a solo with a ukulele, I'd recommend getting yeah. online. Oh. Dressed as a mermaid. Dressed as a mermaid. I, I suspect when we're doing the big group numbers that my mics aren't on. That's, that's what oh, I'm no, telling myself. That's what I'm telling are. myself. We, can, we all hear the <laughs> There's, there's, a, there's a, a stage where I come out with a ukulele and sing a song. In my head, I'm Vance Joy. Um, but in the audience, it's, it doesn't sound can like Vance Joy. Can you play ukulele well or not? Is it just... It's it is... a little bit of this going <laughs> <laughs> I'll, be, I'll be honest. Six inches off the street. <laughs> yeah. I, sorry, we just mentioned there's something about a mermaid costume. Are you in a mermaid costume? Yes. In oh. fact, all I of us... I would pay money to would see you? that. Would you? I'd pay money not to see <laughs> that. I, I, well, come along, because I'm dressed as a mermaid twice. Uh, two fact, different mermaid two costumes. Two different kind of mermaids. And we're all in mermaid costumes, except uh, uh, Odyssey misses out, but... Mm. Um, we it, can't talk about yeah. that. Yeah, Odyssey is very about upset about Don't talk about, about yeah. mermaid. Uh, Olivia, in this production, you play Molly. Yep who is the mum of Wendy. Yeah, so it's like the origin story of how kind of the collective all arrived to mm. Neverland. Um, yeah, and then the, there's a little kind of tinkle about how, yeah, Peter and Molly met and were landed on this island and then kind of the... Obviously, there's this fantastic storyline that goes on and then there's a sadder kind of A plot storyline about two kind of young people grappling with either staying young or moving kind of onto maturity and adulthood life as well. It just sounds fantastic. Otis, so they say never work with children, animals or Pete in a mermaid costume. <laughs> <laughs> What's it like working with 90 puppets as well? Fantastic. Yeah. You know, um, one of my favourite moments in the show is a, there's a giant kraken that comes to eat one of the characters and I get to be one of the tentacles on that, you know, so it's, it's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, you know, like we said, Pete in a mermaid costume is pretty hilarious. You've got to come see that. I mean, we have to do it. We have to carry out an emotional, intense scene. Immediately And you after. can see him in the wings. <laughs> in his and mermaid suit. to make eye contact with, the, with oh, him because he's in his mermaid suit. And Matt, if you could not refer to me as a puppet again, I would, I would, I would appreciate sorry, that, mate. Can you guys find out for us whether they actually kill Pete? 
Pete's mic when he sings. I, don't <laughs> I would love I don't to know. That. Would I don't you be upset? I promise you, I'm telling uh, you, he, they don't. Because as we, I have to track uh, off after this emotional you. scene, and you go. Ah! Yeah, they, have, <laughs> they, they have told me that it is turned on, <laughs> but I'm refusing to believe it. It's the only way I can actually sing. Because it's like nobody's hearing this. But yeah. That sounds awesome, guys. Thank you so much for swinging by. It sounds magical. It's, it is magical, and it, like the kids, it's family. It's, it's Disney, so it works on every level. It, yeah, it's, it's, beautiful, it's beautiful stuff. Tickets for Peter and the Star Catcher, that's what it's called, are they're on sale now. We're going to put all the info over on themorningshow.com.au. Thank wow. you so much, guys. Thanks, guys. Beautiful. Cheers, guys.